if the only coverage that you have is your group disability and coverage through work, you may wanna watch this video because you may be undercovered. So group disability insurance has three significant drawbacks. So the first one is relates to the, the definition of disability. So disability insurance has two definitions. One, there's an any occupation, and there's own occupation. Own occupation says, can I do my specific job based on the job duties that I have? So if you're a surgeon, can you still perform with your hands? That's considered an own occupation disability. And he says, can you get a job doing anything else? So a Walmart reader, uh, working at a fry cook at McDonald's, then you're not going to get covered because you can do any other job. So the way group insurance works is its own occupation for two years. Some will go up to as many as five years. And then after that, it switched to the any occupation definition. So you may have to get a job at McDonald's if you don't have the right coverage. Two is everyone's favorite, Uncle Sam, the taxes. So since your employer is paying for the benefit, they're, ta they're taking a tax deduction on your disability premiums. So because they're doing that, you're actually going to get taxed on the, the benefits when you claim them. So typically you're getting 60% of your pay with a disability benefit. And then after taxes, usually that goes down to about 40%, depending on your tax bracket. I don't know how many people can live on 40% of their pay, but just know that. The third piece is that group disability coverage actually has a cap for their benefits. So a typical cap is about $6,000 per month. And the richer benefits typically go anywhere from about 10,000, could be a little higher, uh, dollars per month of monthly benefit. So the general rule of thumb is every $1,000 of coverage per month equates about $20,000 of salary. So a $6,000 monthly benefit covers someone making $120,000 a year, and a $10,000 a month benefit covers someone making $200,000 per year. So if you make more than that, there's a chance that you may actually be getting much less coverage than the 60% of your pay. So if you have any other questions that I can help you out with, please feel free to reach out at the email below.